Hello and welcome to Anachrony in about three minutes. Anachrony is a game for one to four players. It has a solo mode. Playing time is around 30 minutes per player. Anachrony is a complex mm. game. In the distant future, Earth is hit by a colossal meteorite that devastates the planet. Among the ruins, the survivors find neutronium, a rare metal that can be used in time travel. Using this rare resource, they notify their ancestors that the meteor is coming. Each player plays an ideological group competitive. Players are competing for resources and only one can win. Worker placement. Players take actions placing units on spaces and gaining the associated advantages. Engine building. Players build an interconnecting system of upgrades throughout the game. Winning the game. The winner is the faction with the most victory points at the end of the game. Points are scored many different ways, including increasing your morale, time travel, building facilities in your base, public objectives, and gathering the required supplies you need in order to evacuate when the meteorite hits. Player turn. Roll for Paradox. The player with the most items on the timeline in each era rolls the dice, gaining Paradox equal to the roll. Every three Paradox are turned into an anomaly, which occupies a spot on your board and costs you victory points. Players take turn powering up suits. Normally three are available for free, and additional ones cost one power each. You then warp resources from the future. If you need some Neutronium now, you can get your descendants to send some back to you. Think of this like a loan from the future that you will have to pay back at some point, but also an opportunity to earn time travel points. Players take actions in turn order. Actions on the board include gathering minerals, building new buildings, recruiting workers, and doing research. Each of these spaces is limited to one power suit with one worker inside. Some workers are better suited for certain roles. For example, Engineers give you a discount on building. Trading and gaining water also uses power suits, but any number can occupy these spaces. You can also use buildings inside your base without a suit. Some buildings do not require workers at all. Buildings are the only way to remove debt from the timeline. This building allows you to move your focus back one error and remove one warp marker, paying the cost in the process. Finally, once all players have passed, reclaim your suits and reset the board. Why would you like this game? Anachrony is a wonderful looking game. I can't recommend the Exosuit expansion pictured here enough. They really complement the game and make it much more visually pleasing. It's also an excellent example of the worker placement genre with a lot of options and paths to victory. Each faction has two board sides and two leaders, each with different powers and abilities, and the building pools and superpowers have a great deal of variety. If you like games with a lot of ways to score points and that don't require direct conflict, then this game could be for you. The single best thing about the game is the Chronobot. The Chronobot is a solo player mode and it plays like an actual opponent. So if you really want to play in Acrony, no one is around, the Chronobot will always be there to challenge you. However, this is an expensive game and it doesn't feel complete without the Exosuit expansion, which is an additional cost. It's also very busy and there are a lot of mechanics and systems to learn, so it might be overwhelming for some players. For other great examples of games in the worker placement genre, I recommend Caverna or Viticulture Essential Edition.